Good hello everyone, my name is Nathan Orlando Frost. Welcome back everybody, we are on Destiny here today. And uh, obviously today is Arms Day, as if you guys didn't know. It is Wednesday, yesterday was reset for Destiny. And uh, today is Arms Day guys, that's what Wednesdays now mean. And that excites me a lot. So, to get into things real quickly, let's go ahead and go down here to Lord Salad Man, or not Lord Salad Man, it's not Iron Banner, this is Lord Shax, I'm sorry. Uh, so let's go down to Lord Shax, I've been waiting for him to basically, you know, for Arms Day, for the Exotic Sword Quest and everything like that. I now have the last step, so now I have to kill the Warden of Oryx, and then a la cool the Dark Blade within 30 seconds. So I'll definitely get that done, get my Void Sword uh, for an exotic sword, stuff like that. That's uh, very, very exciting. As for everything else, everybody, let's go ahead, go over here, and collect our Arms Day orders. Unfortunately, this is the only character this week that I actually got any orders on. I, uh, I was going to pick them up on some other characters, like my Warlock and my Titan and everything like that, because my Warlock's level 3, my Titan, I believe, is level 3 now. I was going to pick them up there, and I wish that I would have, because now I could have dismantled them for Legendary Mark, stuff like that, but... Uh, I was planning on doing it Saturday, I ended up having to go out on Saturday, and I ended up completely forgetting to do it, and when I went to do it sat Sunday, basically the orders were gone, so that's unfortunate, but we can definitely get into some things. So, here we go, guys. Fusion rifles. We have three of them to pick up. We got fusion rifles. Let's see what we got here. Quick. Uh, unassisted kills with weapon, reduce grenade and melee cooldown, kills with weapon while critically wounded, have a chance to start regenerating health. Not bad. Mmm... This one's really good, actually. Aiming this weapon increases its effective range, and readying this weapon grants a brief period of bonus accuracy. That's definitely not bad. Uh, and then we have sort of like a combination between the two uh, in this last one, sort of. So I'm thinking to maybe go with the middle one. It's uh, it's it's like kind of the, the oddball out, sort of, and it does have range finder. Which definitely does improve it. Uh, it does have accelerated coils, so that definitely could be a thing. So range, range, range finder. We have uh, this one, Eye of the Storm. That's not too uh, useful, Eye of the Storm. But range finder is definitely useful. This one's definitely useful, and accelerated coils is definitely useful. Let's see what the other ones have. I wonder if the other ones have accelerated coils as well. I just don't know. This one does not have accelerated coils, so this one is going to be off the table. Let's go ahead and check out this one. Let's see what this... And no. No accelerated coils. The middle one is definitely the best one to go with. So that's what we're going to go with. Alright guys, we have a sniper rifle now. A hockey sniper rifle. It's called the AOIFE uh, Rua-D sniper rifle. I'm not exactly sure if that's a word. Awifi? 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 I don't even know. Anyway, hockey. Here we go guys. We got a sniper rifle. Uh, we got one with Outlaw and chance to return a portion of the magazine after an assist. That's definitely not bad. Let's go ahead and check out to see what other perks we got on it. So we have partial refund and Outlaw. And we have armor piercing rounds. Not bad. High caliber rounds. Not bad. And a pendant magazine. Increased magazine size but a slower reload. That could be good. We'll, uh, we'll maybe go with this one. This is definitely a possibility. Let's check out the next one though in the middle. Uh, reduces the severity of this weapon's recoil and Zen moment. So I'm pretty sure, yeah, that's rodeo and Zen moment, high caliber snapshot and a pendant magazine. Not bad. I'm liking the whole a pendant magazine. I, I do like uh, bigger magazines for sniper rifles. It's definitely definitely a thing. But this one is all about stability. Clearly, so causing damage increases stability and it re just reduces the severities of this weapon's recoil. So that's all about precision shooting, if you will. Uh, then we have this one, gain bonus accuracy while crouched. A completely crap perk, in my opinion. So this one's probably going to be off the table, but we'll check it out anyway. Uh, we have partial refund, high caliber snapshot, and again, a pendant magazine. So it really is kind of come down to what I want to do with it, guys. So let's go ahead and check it out. Uh... I wouldn't mind the chance to return a portion of the magazine after an assist. That wouldn't be too bad. That would be a really good one. Uh, Outlaw on a sniper rifle, I'm not too sure about. It's not that great. Uh, we have a pendant magazine, everything like that. Uh, standard sniper zoom highlights enemies with low health. Outlaw. Again, Outlaw is not bad. It's, it's good. It's just not that great for a sniper rifle, in my opinion. But this partial refund is really what I'm... 
like looking at, if you know what I mean. So we have this one, chance to return a portion of the magazine, but this perk is useless. Uh, in a way, this perk, Outlaw, is sort of useless as well, but it's probably not as useless as this one, as gain bonus accuracy while crouched. Personally, when I snipe, I don't ever crouch. That's not a thing that I just kneel into and just start doing right off the bat. Uh, so I think I'm going to go with this one, man. I like the whole chance to re return a portion after on the, of the magazine after an assist. That that would be a pretty good one for Crucible. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go with that one, guys. All right, we have another sniper rifle here. This is a Amalon sniper rifle. The Irene, or yeah, I think it's Irene, RR4. Uh, so we have Zen Moment and Luck in the Chamber. Let's check out what else we got here. So we have Luck in the Chamber, uh, Injection Mold, or Lightweight. So Injection Mold that increases stability but reduces the range. Uh, okay, so we have yeah, Zen Moment and Shoot to Loot. Damn, that, that might not actually be bad. I could shoot some heavy ammo and get me my sword back. That That actually might be pretty good. Shoot to Loot and Zen Moment, like a combination between the two. I keep switching if I need it to. Uh, that actually might not be a bad one. We'll go ahead and check out the other ones. Maybe the other ones have the same perks, maybe just different, better uh, perks than maybe Luck in the Chamber. Who knows? We'll see. I don't know. Luck in the Chamber on a sniper rifle has me uh, has me really interested and intrigued. So, weapons magazines will be refilled whenever you replenish a super. Okay, or it'll, re it'll be refilled whenever you unleash your super. And Outlaw... I think this one's probably off the table unless it's... No, Outlaw is the one that you have to have. Okay, so Replenish and Exhumed. This Okay, I, I don't like that one at all. Uh, that one's not a bad perk. Let's see what else we got. Injection Mold again. Outlaw, we already have an Outlaw Sniper Rifle. I think that one's probably off the table. Uh, okay, so right here we have Clown Cartridge. Clown Cartridge is always a good, good perk. I always do enjoy Clown Cartridge, I can tell you that much. Uh, let's go ahead and see what else we got here. So we have Outlaw, again, Clown Cartridge, and Shoot to Loot. Uh, well, I can tell you it's between the first one and this one. It's just whether or not I want Outlaw on it. But at the same time, I do want... Hmm. Shit. This is why I wish I would have picked him up on my other characters. So that I can have both of them. But I can't. I think I'm going to go with this one, though. I think Clown Cartridge, in the long run, will come more into play than uh, Zen Moment, in a way. Uh, the only thing I'm losing out on is Luck in the Chamber, which is definitely unfortunate. But Clown Cartridge does give you that extra bullet right so then i can switch between clown cartridge a perk i really like and shoot to loot which is a perk again i really like uh rather than just having one perk on this sniper rifle that i really really like which would be luck in the chamber you know what i mean so i think i'm gonna go with the last one here so let's go ahead with that i took plenty enough time for that i do apologize but those are the weapons i got for my hunter now on to the raid loot since we don't really have any raid loot or I did all three raids yesterday on all three of my characters, but since we don't have any uh, loot that I have to pick up from the gunsmith or anything like that, I can just stay in orbit and review everything, guys. So let's go ahead and do that. So real quickly here on my Hunter, uh, let's check to see what I actually got here. Uh, as far as armor and stuff like that is concerned, I did get the raid helmet from Oryx. When I killed Oryx, I did get the raid helmet here called the Dark Hollow Mask, Intellect and Strength. Uh, we have Inverse Shadow. Uh, very, very good perk, or I guess it's Shine On on this helmet, but it's a really nice helmet. I do like it. I do quite enjoy it. It's really nice. I, uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. Infusion, replenishes health each time you pick up an Orb of Light. Definitely not bad. And orb pickups create the chance for a temporary bonus damage to Taken. Again, not bad. Those perks are all very, very good, and I'm happy with that helmet. Uh, as for gauntlets, I still, unfortunately, did not receive raid gauntlets for my hunter. Uh, as for chestplate, I did actually receive a second chestplate, which I was sort of disappointed in. But at the same time, uh, it is a higher defense by, like, one. But I'm thinking about just saving it and just chilling out on it seeing if I get anything better, and then, you know, I can use this raid chestplate to infuse another chestplate, maybe on another character, 
Or if I get an exotic chest plate, maybe like the Crest of Alpha Loopy and then get Raid Gauntlets, because I do love the Crest of Alpha Loopy. We'll see. Uh, as for Raid Boots, I didn't get anything there as well. These are from last week, stuff like that. Uh, as for primary weapons, I ended up getting a Monte Carlo at 310 attack. That was on my Warlock, though, so I probably shouldn't have mentioned that right now. Uh, but anywho, other than that, I didn't really get anything else on my Hunter. I believe I did get a Ghost Shell uh, that I already put in my Vault. It should be in my Vault right now. And I did think I got a Fusion Rifle as well, which again, should be in my Vault. Uh, fusion Rifle doesn't look to be in my Vault. This one's, this one's a Fusion Rifle, but I mean, it's, it's, it's the Raid Fusion Rifle. I just I think I got this one before in particular. Uh, as for everything else, let's go to Armor. Uh, yeah, not really, not really anything else. I, I, like I said, I think I did get the ghost shell in here somewhere. Maybe I already transferred it to another character. I'm not too sure. But anyway, that's what I got on my hunter, everybody. So let's go ahead and switch on over to my warlock, which was the second character that I actually ended up getting, uh, raid loot on. So I did my hunter first, then my warlock, and then my titan. I did it in that order. It usually goes Warlock first, but we were short a Hunter, uh, so we had to like keep switching them up, make sure we had at least two Hunters and two Titans each time. Makes the raid a lot easier if you guys are looking to do it. I definitely recommend at least two Hunters and at least two Titans. Uh, it makes things go a lot smoother, if you will. Uh, so, my Warlock, as far as primaries go, from Oryx, it dropped me two Shards and, like I said before, a 310 Monte Carlo, but I've already infused that into the Hand Cannon that was over on my Hunter. Uh, as for snipers, I got this Deviance of Yasmin, but I believe this was on my Titan. I switch over things a lot, guys, so it's kind of hard to keep track. I probably shouldn't until I do this video, so I do apologize for that. Uh, as for everything else, I did get an extra pair of Raid Gauntlets that I actually infused into my Hunter's Gauntlets over there on my Hunter. It was the uh, the Young Ahamkara's Grasps, or the yeah, Ahamkara's Grasp, whatever they're called. I infused them into those gauntlets because the, the ones that I got were 308. These ones that I already had were 309. Uh, so I didn't really feel like, you know, that was useful for anything. Uh, I did get an extra bond, uh, actually. This bond right here is the one I got, but I got it at 300 defense. I had a bond from before that was at 305 defense. Uh, it was discipline and strength, so I infused that one into this new one. And unfortunately enough, it actually went to 305. And then... The reason why it's 309 right now is because I got a mark on my Titan uh, from the raid that got it to 309. An extra mark that I had, I didn't need, so I infused it, basically. Anywho, that's that, everybody. That's for raid loot on my Warlock. I didn't, I didn't get too much for weapons or anything like that this week, unfortunately. I did get uh, quite a bit of armor that I, I'm definitely happy with. Unfortunately, I still wasn't able to get raid boots here for my Warlock to complete my set. So it definitely is very, very unfortunate unfortunate rather uh, my titan is missing a raid helmet my hunter is missing raid gauntlets and my warlock is missing raid boots they all have the chest plate so <laughs> let's go ahead and switch on over to my titan real quick but before i do that i want to let you guys know something real quickly just in case it's not on my titan because i'm not sure if i completed on my titan but you guys have all heard of the sleeper simulant right just gonna throw that out there real quick you guys all heard of the sleeper simulant in a moment jay uh if you guys have heard of the sleeper simulant you guys know what i'm talking about uh it's basically been awry no one has ever found it or anything like this and well i'll tell you what finally today on reset or not reset but arms day rather the quest has finally popped everybody you don't see it in your inventory but if you did manage to complete or collect all four Dark Age relics that you turn into the gunsmith, which, by the way, those are the fusion rifles that you can pick up around the galaxy. Those little fusion rifles, the legendary fusion rifles that appear here, and you can turn them into the gunsmith for rep. There's four different one of different ones of them, okay? And if you manage to collect them all, it was kind of hard to keep track. I never really saw the difference, but apparently there is. The quest has now popped, everybody. That is right. The Sleeper Simulant quest is finally upon us. I cannot wait to try this out. I am going to most likely join Jay and do it here in a moment. So that's the quest right here. It's called the First Firewall. This is the beginning quest. Uh, now before I do that, I'm not going to do it on camera or anything like that, so I do apologize. But let's switch on over to my Titan. 
so that I can get this video rendered out and stuff like that. And then uh, get working on that sleeper simulant so I can bring you guys more videos of that uh, in particular. So here we go, guys. Let's get on to my Titan. And like I said before, my Titan was the last character I did the raid on. And again, there is no gunsmith things that I picked up. And again, I, I apologize for it. I, it completely slipped my mind, basically, as I was out and doing some things. So, uh, yeah. Kingslayer Shell, I believe this one right here is what I got, 303, this one's 302, I will most likely infuse it into this one, considering this one's Intellect and Discipline, rather than Intellect and Strength, I'd like Intellect and Discipline a little bit better, but we'll see, I haven't made my decision on it quite yet. Uh, as for everything else here though, I did get this Fusion Rifle, yes, I believe I did, uh, all over on my Hunter, this was the Fusion Rifle that I was talking about, and again, I switched it over. Uh, as for loot for my Titan... I ended up getting that, like I said, that ghost shell right there, and I ended up getting the Defiance of Yasmin, which is the sniper rifle. It was over on my Warlock, I already showed you guys that. As for primaries, I did not get anything from Oryx or anything like that. I do already have all the primary weapons though, so I don't really need any primaries or anything like that. Uh, it would be nice to get them, so that I can infuse them into some primary exotics and stuff like that and start leveling those up. Uh, but other than that, guys, I did get some loot here as well. So let's go into it. I didn't get anything for helmets or gauntlets. Chest, again, I didn't get anything. I did get the raid boots yesterday, which I was very, very happy to receive. These things are very, very good. Sniper rifle ammo and rocket launcher ammo. Definitely not bad. Uh, I do like the look of them. They look very, very sick. I got this Titan Mark right here. Actually, I got another Titan Mark that was, again, 309 defense. And that's the one that I put into my Warlock Bond, which is why my Warlock Bond went from 305 to 309. So I got an extra mark. This one is the one I kept, though. Uh, as for everything else, that's pretty much all I got from the raid this week, guys. It wasn't a very eventful raid. Let's see if the quest did pop for the Sleeper Simulant here on my Titan. And it did, so I definitely could have showed you there. Uh, anywho, that is it for now, everybody. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, feel free to hit the video up with a like. Share it with your friends. Tell me in the comment section below what you guys want to see from me. And uh, that is it for now, everybody. All three of my characters are currently level 40 and 300 light and above. 305 and above, actually. My, all of them can be about 307, 308. So I'm very, very happy with my character progress as of right now. And uh, yeah, I, can't wa I cannot wait to do the raid next week. I'm very, very excited for it. I love doing the raid. I'm probably going to play through it a couple more times this week just for the fun and shits of it. Just to help some like friends through and stuff like that. Uh, and again, if you guys ever need help with a raid or anything like that, may I remind you that you guys can join my community over here on Destiny. Uh, it is called Legends for Tomorrow. We currently have 17 members. Go ahead and join up, guys. It's a very, very friendly community, and we do like helping out everybody. And, uh, yeah, that is pretty much it for now, everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video, and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye for now, people.